Could they be magic paintings? Feels like it sometimes. And I don't need this because I made this obsolete because I learned how to use these. You think? The cameras ain't stopping me, John. I'm going through it. This is the gig. We got a slit. It's almost like it's almost like going back in the womb. See his work, you see it. He reveals himself through his paintings. You look at his paintings. You look at his paintings and you see God. You see revelation, prophecies with angels. And so he's being used. His vessel, just like we're being used. You know? And so as he slays his demons, man, he's mature. He's an elder. I give him respect. I love life. There's no chances. There's personal expression in his paintings, but a lot of it is definitely child. I mean, did you see a second and first painting? I mean, he's tapped in. I mean, like his second painting that he ever did, ever. He painted the Kabbalah. And in essence, he, I mean, like there's the minute details that are different, but in essence, you take a leaf, painted the tree of life. The world is very abstract. So the knowledge I have is very natural. And that's why I understand all their rules. And I know which one's low by and which one's not. That's faith. I'm a painter, I'm a simple man. I want to reverse the process. Now, after doing this, how do I reverse the process? That the secret of the painting is not what you see, it's what you feel. Right. And black is the abyss. Good Friday, my friend. This is the so summer solstice, the first official day of summer, the 21st day of June, honest, the year 2002, like and I hope that it landed lightly in your life. Maybe they'll pass right through you. Maybe there ain't no dog. Maybe there was one once. Maybe there could be one again. Maybe it's now, later, or forever. That's the beauty of life, living those maybes out and seeing where you end up, you know? Truth? The consequences sometimes it's like unlocking your unconsciousness. Wow. Did it have anything to do with the rainbow? You think definitely? And if you notice the rainbow, look, it's going right to the score. I could see that he was obviously a painter because he was covered with paint and he had paint in his hair. I went to the studio and I entered this room and it was a very almost dark, peaceful room. There were so many paintings actually, it was in the garage. Raphael was painting on the floor with a broom. I didn't know what to expect really, I had, I had no clue. For the first time of my life, I had this feeling of there was something transcendental. I had never thought about abstract 
art or colours in, in the stones, never. And now I can say, in a way, I think I do believe in God. It's a very spiritual thing, though, with Raphael, and he has this sort of very religious context to how he came to be an artist. I think he described it as the age of 14. But he decided sort of that it, it was his time he'd come to jump off this bridge. As he climbed up, it was really, really windy. And as he went for that dive, it sort of gusted and just threw him straight back onto the deck again. This was sort of divine intervention. The next day, he sort of woke up and discovered that somebody dumped a, a box with a couple of brushes. He took that and just created something. Crashed out, woke up and thought, wow. What have I done? What have I found? Just the lines of life that are drawn for you when you're born. You know, it's in this dark hole, just like inside a diamond or something. You know, it's just shooting the colors all over the place, right? The power of it all is what it really is the power, and it's pure. The human being is attached directly to its emotions, and it could put it down in such a you know expressive way. You know? Look at the birds flying, man. It's a loving power. Of course it is. Maybe uh, the secrets of the unknown should be unknown. You know? I'm on the path. I can't get off now. So Transcendence is within the pain. The emptiness. Right? Which makes me, I think, more in touch with my... Uh, my emotions. You can nurture it with uh, your heart. I'll meet you outside, big guy, when you... Yeah, I'll be what back. What you need? What you no, need? I don't need anything. I just need cool. a, I just think your presence. We'll be there. Good energy. I'll bring the book. Good energy. Perfect. Perfect, amazing. Perfect, amazing peace. Danny, perfect, amazing peace. It does fit perfectly. You know something? Excalibur, please. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Next. I absorb. Um, just... You know, I know when, I know when not. I, at least I trust myself on that. Yeah. I don't wait for somebody to tell me. We go to this party and Raffaello has these two huge canvases that he lays out. And he's just like painting like this. And everybody just starts gathering around and watching him. Now he's not saying, you know, hey, look at me, I'm here painting. He's just, he doesn't even lift his head up. He doesn't say a word the whole time. He's just doing his thing. But everybody, you know, it's like, uh, uh, you know, the grandstand. Yeah, right, look at that. Daddy, that corner there, you see that little bench? It's a spirit language, you bring it from other dimensions. And when he allows you to come into that cipher, it's because, you know, you're ready, or you're special, and he wants to teach, and then you gotta just sit back and, and just don't judge, just enjoy it. Just...